Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Since last time I did some grinding for Joseph, well, by doing so, I did some for the other characters as well. I got this one up to level 6, so that way I can heal all ailments. Got Berserk at level 6 as well, to prove one level in Link Protecting Shell on Guy, and got Berserk up to level 5 on Joseph. I more wanted to boost his MP in HP, nothing else. Now, since last time I explained this mini game, but there was one thing that I forgot to mention, so I'm going to do it once again. Let's see if I can pull it off. It's not a problem. Experience. No. I'm messing it up real bad. Okay. okay I saw fear and somewhere. Okay. Doesn't guy around here. Close. Uh, Joseph and Gordon. Okay. Now I'm going to. I created a, a simple grid so I know where all these where all the images are. So I want to show you how you can abuse this minigame. I won't be doing it, so no need to worry about it. And so I'm actually going to show you. Now, last time I forgot to the really amount of times that you need to skip. So, in this mini game, there is a circle, a cycle, sorry, a cycle, and every 32 rounds, you get on the same board that we just did. So, you simply do this, press the A to confirm, and then give up. And now we do it counting 32 times. So, one. So on this next round, if I did everything correctly, this should be the round where I had the same board, so let's check it out. So there we go, we 10 seconds and no misses. You can go get a whopping 40,000 heal and a elixir and a cottage. And you can do this over and over and over again if you want to stack up on guild. But there's, there is one more thing with this minigame. And that is if you... <coughs> oh, that's, I still not better off my cough. If you actually have the toad spell and you max it out at level 16, the prices will change. And if you did what I just did, Zero misses, you will be get, you are able to get a Masamune, that is end game weapon, of course. But you are also able to get the Aegis shield, Genji armor, Genji gloves, the Genji helm, and it's unlimited. You can get them as many times as you want. I will not be using it. It takes forever, simply to get to the to level 16 and I don't want to waste my time on that so with that in mind let's continue with the gameplay so now we are in the snow cave and sorry if I if my voice is withering but I'm kind of forcing myself to speak so oh well I do have to record this video so 
So yeah, if you want to abuse that system, you are more than welcome. I actually managed to do it two times, but I was going to say right now, Gil is not actually a TV problem. But if you need to farm it, there you go. Now this isn't a very tough dungeon as well. Hmm. Well, we can get to that door, so let's go through here first. Actually, the early game of this game is not that hard. We'll fight later, but as for now, I don't think we'll be having any problem. We can simply ignore that door. You don't want to see that. Now, the funny part is that I was kind of feeling better, so that's why I decided to record well, well, when I'm recording, but I guess my boss likes to play some tricks on me. Probably better if I split my attack instead of fighting them eat whatever. Let's go back where it came from. Then I want to go to the right. Hmm. Let's do it like this, actually. At the moment shows that he's actually stronger than Kai, so... Just in case Kai didn't want shot him. Now we want to go up here. Yeah, some treasures that we can pick up here. One time so far, but long guys. All the heat land. And we are getting a ton of battles. Simply because. Uh, so well. Luckily, they aren't that hard and. Somewhat fast to deal with. And here we got a battle axe. Finally, an improvement for Guy. An antidote. Can complain on having those. Yep, I should have. Target the goblin instead, and that shows up still with the grenade. Now you want shot me. Luckily they are still with fire. Let's keep going. Well, 
turn around and I should be able to deal with all of them. Oh, it's not. How oh, are they are freezing, walking in the water like that? I don't know, but. Let's just pretend that everything's alright. Members are using a spear, so yeah. and ignore that door as well. Wait, I forgot to learn. Okay. I forgot where I was. That's fire as well. I don't want to I don't want to drag the battles. If I don't need to, need to. Get the mitral shield. Not that I need it right now. Another battle one, and here to the left, we have another treasure set. If I can get to it. Now, the ancient sword has a 
attack wise is not that strong as the Mythic Sword. But uh, when using it in battle, uh, well, when attacking it, attacking, it, attacking with her equip, you have a, a chance to inflict the curse status on the enemies, lowering his attack and defense. So okay, that's that what first do. I'm not mistaken. I don't remember if we see the, those enemies again. Another battle act. Not that I need it right now. Ever again, but... Well... Hmm. So there's shine fevers here, but... Well, if you go to this one... Ask the beaver for the goddess spell. So we have a passes to the right. Now I'm not entirely sure if thing with guy is that he speaks with beavers or more of a thing that he speaks with animals. Although even though beavers are, I believe beavers are the only ones that appear in this game. But uh, I believe that if you look around on later, well, not later installments, but in the general lore of the game, or Final Fantasy game, I believe that next it will, it will say that he speaks language of the animals, or you can feel the sentiment of the animals, the animals, that way you know what they are trying to say, meaning that they can communicate. And before you ask, the background of Kai is that I believe he was raised in a forest or something like that. He didn't, that's why he, are, he is able to communicate with the animals. Drop the dungeon. It's already taking a lot of my time. And your time as well. So, let's look at the chest first. Now, before fighting that. Before fighting the Diamond Toys, I will actually want to equip Joseph. So we get ready to boss battle, but this one is actually not that tough. Diamond Toys is weak to ice, so yep. What shot to boss. And with that, you can pick up the Goddess Spell. And now that we got the bell, we simply can go up the ladders. These ladders that show up. And we are at that door we couldn't reach before. Let's drop my attack so I can one shot them all. 
I'm actually finding it weird that the guy is dealing so little damage, but oh well. Hmm. That wall looks suspicious right now, but oh well. Oh, sorry about that. Not like you backstab, backstab the kingdom in the back. Boy, you did. Well, here we fight for him. Well, this is a joke battle. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. That the Diamond Toys had 675 HP, so by dealing 800 was an easy feat. And Morgan here has 240. So, this is a joke battle, pretty much. Why they are not running, I don't know, but... Oh. Now I got to say that Joseph is really strong. Unfortunately, that's the second person that we actually saw dying. So, kind of sad. But, but oh well, with that in mind, I'm going to end today's episode here. Next episode, I'm, well, I'm going to Salaman to see if. Uh, See if I can deliver the, the news to his daughter about Joseph's departure. And then I'm going to Altair to see if what Princess Hilda says about the goddess belt. But with that in mind, thank you everyone for watching and see you another time. Bye!